WLWT, of course. Hey, I got my uh, WLWT mobile app out here, and I'm looking at later in the evening, Kevin, and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, I certainly think after mid-evening, so probably after 9 or 10, I think it's really going to be somewhere in that hour or so closer to midnight where things start to get a little rocky around here for us. But here we go. You can see we do have the threat for severe weather later on tonight. There is a low end tornado threat. Now we're certainly not talking about a lot of tornadoes. That's not what we're dealing with here, but I can't rule out a warning or two. Primary concerns are heavy rainfall and the threat for gusty wind. So again, that's going to come later on this evening. There'll be a little rain before then, as is the case tonight. Let's start in on a quick radar tour. Or some downpours here down around the Maysville community. They're not really amounting to much. I don't expect a lot of action early this evening, but I can't rule out a fast moving downpour or even a quick storm for someone. There's been a few of them over towards Lawrenceburg and Aurora. Notice they're not really too sustained though. So again, early this evening, I don't think that's a big deal for us. And then there's some stuff up here in parts of Fayette Union counties coming towards Liberty with a little bit of thunder and lightning as well. I am keeping a close eye on what's happening tonight northwest of Indianapolis because th whatever develops up here will eventually become something we have to deal with down the line tonight. And that's why as those storms develop in central Indiana, they will roll towards the Ohio River and probably the greatest threat for severe weather will generally be from around the metro area and then points southwest down along the Ohio River. So we at least have a decent chance and we'll probably will see at least a few. I think on the low end severe thunderstorm warnings can't rule out a tornado warning or two either later on tonight. I can show you how these storms will move in again early tonight. The chance for a downpour or two after nine or 10, I think is when things start to get busier and you'll see how storms begin to kind of congeal into a complex and it's this complex of storms that will begin dropping our way after nine or 10 o'clock tonight, probably somewhere in the midnight time frame, and then quickly race their way through the area so that by the time the sun is up tomorrow morning, this system is completely moving out by 7 a.m. There may be a little lingering shower activity in our east, but I think this gets out of here and we are dealing with pretty much a mostly dry Tuesday. So but this is just part of what's overall going to be a fairly stormy week for us. We're at 83 right now, but check this out that dew point. I don't have to tell you this. If you've been outside today, you know it is incredibly steamy. So some of that humidity likely to not only fuel the threat for severe weather, but the potential for locally heavy rainfall from any storms that come through here too tonight as well. So again, wind flood threat from main threat for many storms overnight. 71 this evening, tomorrow 88. Tomorrow's going to be a mostly dry day. I think more of us are dry or most of us are dry versus seeing any rain. I'll keep a stray shower chance in there, but I do not expect much tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast and well overall it's just kind of stormy around here through Friday as we'll be in the line or crosshairs for multiple complexes of storms the next couple of days. So this is unlikely to be our only threat for severe weather as we go through the week. Things quiet down and get a little steamy by the time we get to the weekend. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. Thanks for the warning. Jamar Chase and T Higgins out.